everybody, it's Wendy. Welcome. Uh, today we are going to be making a super fun Grinch card. I've seen tons of Grinch cards on Pinterest. And first I want to show you all the different punches that this card uses. There's quite a few, but they are a manageable amount. So what I did is I created this uh, little slide for you to show you what all the different punches are. Um, you need two top note dies, uh, well three really. Um, some circle punches and scallop punches, the word window punch, and so on. And then this little guy right here, the half inch circle punch. So you're going to start out but with your two top note dies, and you're going to ink the edges of both of them. Um, get them nice and inky so that <clears throat> they kind of stand out and have an outline around the edge of the card. This is a technique that I used to use all the time and it's kind of an oldie and I really need to start doing it again because it really does give some extra dimension and weight to your cards. And then we need to do a little bit of scoring so that this card will open correctly. Um, you're going to take the one, of, uh, one side and on the inking side put it down and line up the point of this die with about the quarter or half inch mark and then just fold it over like that so it has a score line so when you open the card it'll open nicely then we're going to use the red glimmer top note die that we've also cut out and trim off the top of it and i'm lining it up with about the one inch the point with the one inch mark now, I want you to know the top note die is a retired item. We no longer sell it, so it is something that you would have to find um, on eBay, or you can contact me and I can see if I can find one for you that's still available um, through somebody who just wants to get rid of one. It was a really popular die and we had it for a super long time, so I kept it and I still use it because I think it's really handy. Um, and then also I have this piece of scallop border trim that I've cut at half inch wide and I'm just using fast fuse to put it down. I really like using fast fuse because it's super strong and sticky and I don't have to worry about all my little pieces falling off my card. Um, the fast fuse is a little bit tricky to learn how to use but once you master how to use it you're good. So then I've got a two and three H inch 3 8 inch scallop circle that I've cut in half and I'm just using tear tape on it and I really struggle with getting the tape to stick so I could have probably used glue dots here but tear tape is what I had sitting right next to me. Um, anyway you're going to use that to adhere it kind of off to the side and then we're going to add our little 7 8 inch scallop circle to um, the bottom of that hat piece on the top of the hat and again I use tear tape because um, sticking stuff to glitter is kind of tough so you really got to use a strong adhesive. All right so I have one inch circle um, punches here out of old olive and I am I don't know if I mentioned I'm using old olive cardstock for all of this and I'm inking the edges of these eyes because again I want them to kind of pop out from the background I don't want them to just look flat so inking them, as you can see, really defines them and shows you that there is a different shape there. Um, so that's why I ink the edges of those. I'm layering those down. And then I have three fourths inch white circles and I'm going to kind of stack those towards the center like he's looking down at his nose is how I was thinking of it as I was making this. And then I have a half inch circle punch that I'm using to adhere down to the center and that just makes his beady little eyes because the Grinch has beady little eyes and then I need the word window punch to create his eyebrows so you're gonna punch two of the word window punches and then hold them about a thumbs length in and punch them again and you see I messed that one up so I had to punch another one but um, I go ahead and I make the one eyebrow and then I got to go grab a piece of black paper to make the other one. Um, so really when you're looking at this card now, it almost could look like a Kermit the Frog at, at the beginning. But as soon as you add these eyebrows, it's amazing. <laughs> Two, excuse me. It's amazing how much um, 
character it gives the Grinch and it immediately makes him look like the Grinch. You know right away, oh, this is the Grinch that stole Christmas. So you could use yellow where I used white for his eyes. I've seen a lot of them done that way, but it kind of creeps me out. I don't know why. It just does. This is the small oval punch that is retired. It's no longer available in the Stampin' Up! catalog, but I used it anyway to make my Grinch. And then I'm just using a Statler uh, pin. It's a 0.5 pin to create his mouth and uh, the little dots around his, his mouth. I've got some tear tape here that I'm adhering to that part that I scored earlier. And I'm just going to adhere him down to the, the card base. Um, and that is my Grinch card. You could definitely mix this up, do some things differently if you wanted to. But this was a super simple, fun Grinch card. It opens really nice and easy. And I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe to my email for the printable tutorial. Thanks. Bye-bye.